on, on camera. They even got the, uh, uh, they went and got, they, I'm, listen, I called that boy. If y'all wondering why y'all can't see the video with Lil Rodney, his mama no more, I called that nigga and say, man, take this. Come on, homie, don't do that, man. That's why y'all can't find a real tune video no more, because I called real tune and told him, say, man, don't do that kid like that, homie. Put his mama out there like that. So he took it down, and I appreciate you, Real Tune, for taking it down, my nigga. That shows you, you you really for your people, man. But he reaching. He reaching. Say, uh, we don't want to hear nothing from no nigga that, that can't stay out of jail. We're where, where the OG niggas that's been out of jail 15 years or longer. Most you niggas can't even stay out of jail five years. The statistics say 85% of you niggas go back to prison within five years of being released. Most you niggas got to get past the five years from the recidivism threshold. Most you niggas got to stay out five years. Then when you stay out five years, you count from the fifth year that you out, then you can start saying, okay, I made it past the five-year threshold. If you niggas ain't been out of prison ten years or longer, y'all do not have the right to speak. Shut y'all motherfucking ass up. You niggas ain't been out of prison long enough. OG person, you done been to too many jailhouses, nigga. Say, listen, they was going to pay OG Percy damn near $50,000 a year. They took it down off YouTube. Guarantee it. They took it down. Guarantee they took it down. It ain't on Real Tune TV no more. So they were go. So they had me reach out to OG person. I'm not supposed to be telling y'all this. I'm finna show y'all how dumb and stupid these are. Right now, ain't none of these niggas making no money for their interviews. Right now, can't none of these niggas get no jobs. So some people in the city had been watching. You know, they see what's going on, right? So. $32 million have been allocated to tear down the projects. They need construction workers. Federal law says, okay, we're going to give y'all this money, but y'all have to hire people in and around people in and around this area in these zip codes, right? So the first time when they did the Rosedale, they didn't do that. They hired all Mexicans, right? So we fought with TxDOT and all of this shit. We filed lawsuits. And most people don't know I did that. So now they have to hire. They took it down. It ain't on Real Tune TV no more. So they would go. So they had me reach out to OG person. I'm not supposed to be telling y'all this. I'm finna show y'all how dumb and stupid these are. Right now, ain't none of these niggas making no money for their interviews. Right now, can't none of these niggas get no jobs. So, some people in the city had been watching, you know, they see what's going on, right? So, $32 million have been allocated to tear down the projects. They need construction workers. Federal law says, okay, we're going to give y'all this money, but y'all have to hire people in and around this area in these zip codes, right? So the first time when they did the Rosedale, they didn't do that. They hired all Mexicans, right? So we fought with TxDOT and all of this shit. We filed lawsuits, and most people don't know I did that. So now they have to hire us. So they say, well, man, we want to get some of them young, you know, some some young gang members, uh, you know, some old gang members. So we want to reach back and, and, and help these guys, right, and get the people from the community. So OG Percy, Percy Demerson caught the attention of some elected and city officials, right? So by me doing what I'm doing, they reached out to me and said, hey, man, what do you think about that guy, Percy? We think he'll be good for such and such, such and such. So these is developers and contractors with million dollar contracts so we can get paid, these niggas, right? So I reached out to OG Percy, said, hey, man, such and such people want to meet with you. We went out and had a lunch meeting. Well, guess who we brought with him? Diamond Stone TV. Man, what the fuck? Man, it's cool to bring your woman, because, man, what you bringing a TV dude for? Well, you notice they hadn't documented because we met with the police. So, they want to use Percy, OG Percy, because they thought, they thought he would be a good fit for a youth development program to be like a construction farmer for the young brother. So they would go pay this man, homie, and he was gonna get a nice say, man. He was gonna get more than what he get now. He just talking for free now. So we sat down, we met with him, I advocated for him. 
I advocated for him. So sit down, meet with him. Goddamn me. All of a sudden, he on every video now. Every video now. Now they saying, man, this guy still want a gangbang. They saying, no, nah, I think we made a mistake, Charleston. No, nah, we don't. We don't want to. No, nah, we don't want to do anything with that guy. These guys are still gangbanging. So now all the gang city officials is sitting back watching all these old niggas come tell on themselves. Talk about what they praising, man. When we was on Dawson unit. And they got money. They got a program where they hire ex-gang members to come back out in the community to work with kids. Man, who want to? Man, nobody. So, no, nah, man. They, they said, no. Nah. So, I'm saying to myself, man, this nigga had a great opportunity to really change some young people's lives rather than just. But they want the fame, y'all. These nigga want to be in front of that camera telling their story. Man, that nigga fucked up, homie. I'm starting to see that nigga. Them, these niggas got mental issues. These niggas got good punchlines, but they got mental issues. They can't consistently do right. They can't consistently do good. They don't. I have. I have at least 2012. I have eight years of consistently making right choices, making right decisions, being a father, being a community activist, running a youth program. So I've done that for eight years. I hadn't got caught in any sex scandals. I didn't get caught up like Abdul and went back to federal prison. I hadn't been to jail. I hadn't got caught uh, cheating on my wife. I hadn't, I mean, no, it ain't been no scandals, right? And I've been doing this for eight years straight. It ain't been no flaws. It ain't been nobody accusing me of no molestation. I ain't been accused of messing with no kid. It ain't been nothing. So I've been consistently doing this for eight years. So how you can tell Consistency is the key. That's how you can tell about change, man. They consist. So these niggas haven't consistently stayed out of jail. The longest, what's the longest they ever stayed out of jail? What's the longest they ever stayed off drugs and never relapsed? Man, when I quit smoking cigarettes three years ago, I ain't picked up a cigarette yet. So I'm saying, what are these niggas recording? What are so Dita Peter say? Man, I know you trying to get a negative reaction. I'm not trying to get no motherfucking reaction out you bitch ass niggas, Dita Peter. You bitch ass niggas ain't got nothing, homie. What, what you niggas you, most you niggas life is spent in front of a store. I just passed by this Ocean 7 right now. Man, all these bomb ass niggas in front of that store right there. Passed by Mac Henry shop. The the all them old old ass niggas hang out in these washed up ass places, nigga. Go from all sides of town, nigga.